it's Phoebe and tonight I'm in Tokyo. All right, we are staying at the most beautiful hotel in Tokyo. I'm going to show you that in a little bit because it is just going to blow you away. It's so stunning. But right now, we are starting our night in Akihabara, Tokyo's buzzing electric town. Now, this place is famous for all things anime, manga, pop culture cool, and of course, video games. Let's go. We got that So I'm getting splinters. <laughs> Is that? James had a splinter today and he couldn't work out how he got it. And maybe it's just <laughs> aggressive chopstick handling. Yeah. All right, it's time for dinner. And we have come to a place, the name of which I do not know. <laughs> I apologize for that, but I'll put some B-roll on the screen. You'll be able to find it if you really want to. But I get the sense that in Japan, you can't really go wrong with food in general. Everything seems to be pretty good. So um, all that gaming really got us in the mood for some good food. We were going to get some ramen. It was all pork. We're going to try that again tomorrow. But now we're talking into some seafood. So James has got a bento box, which has got a little bit of everything. Tofu, prawn, sashimi, mackerel. It's got it all. And I've got the sashimi bowl, which looks delicious. Um, let's, let's try it. Delicious! Good morning, you guys. <laughs> you see Pikachu in the background? Actually, this fruit dish looks like a Pokeball now that I think about it. Um, Oh, we are staying at the most amazing hotel. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you around the hotel and the room a little bit later. But right now I wanna focus on something that we heard yesterday. The lovely lady who works here was like, yeah, we've literally won the award for Tokyo's best hotel breakfast multiple times. And if that isn't an endorsement, I don't know what is. So we're up, we're dressed, we're ready. It is a rainy day. That's okay. We're just gonna go and eat a whole lot of breakfast and try it and see if it's everything is meant to be. It sounds incredible. Let's go. right off the bat it is a sensory overload <laughs> it's so beautiful in here and it's so fancy and they have I think I think the staff says over a hundred dishes did you hear them say that a hundred yeah I think so yeah something like a hundred dishes and the reason they can do that because even though it's buffet style they they single serve everything to perfection so you're not just like you know, heaping out eggs. It's like the eggs are made fresh for you. They have sashimi, they have individually prepared dishes. It's like like a Michelin star breakfast. It's, it's honestly unreal. So I think we're both over, overwhelmed, <laughs> overstimulated. So I've just got a few things to try first. Um, I won't be able to remember what they all are, but this one is, I think it's a fish with a miso. It's so good. This, I don't know. I don't know what this is, I can't remember. Trashy? <laughs> it looks good. Oh my god. Yeah, delicious. Alright, I'm just gonna keep eating. We are staying at the Tokyo Station Hotel. Opened in 1915, it's gorgeous and historic, oozing refined elegance and old world glamour. From the moment you arrive, the staff make you feel so welcome and at home. It is such a special place. Luxury guest rooms are housed in the hotel's iconic red brick building, located in the heart of Tokyo, overlooking the Imperial Palace. 
We're staying in a palace view room and love how spacious, comfortable and elegant it is with a fantastic view. The hotel has a number of exceptional restaurants and bars located on site and it's connected to JR Tokyo Station Marunouchi, making it a convenient base to explore Tokyo and beyond. If you're looking for a very special, unforgettable place to stay in Tokyo, this is it. And I have a link in the video description for you. The hotel is a member of Small Luxury Hotels and they specialize in boutique hotels and resorts that are intimate, unique and personable. So be sure to check out the link below. They have gorgeous properties dotted all over the world in beautiful locations. So I am sure you will find one that will make your next adventure unforgettable. So for lunch today, we have come to a spot called Ginza of Buki. Now it is a Michelin star kaiseki located in Ginza. And I feel like if you're gonna have Michelin star food, you should absolutely do it in Japan because it's gonna be the next level. Um, the cool thing about this is that we booked this on Kluke, which I love, super easy. Just click, select the time, put it through, tell them about your dietary requirements and you are done. Um, I'll be really honest with you, we have no idea what's happening. <laughs> We don't know how many courses, we don't know, we don't know anything. We just know we're in this great little restaurant, this great little room, and food is coming out, and it looks amazing. Do you remember what you said that was? This is trot, bamboo shoots, yuzu, yuzu, I'm not sure exactly, and some spring onions. Good. That's really good. This is an epic day of food. Mm. Tokyo has an awesome public transport system that's safe, reliable, and super easy to use with the help of Google Maps, so I recommend using that as an affordable way to explore. I also recommend getting a local SIM card with Sims Direct so you can navigate and communicate easily. There's a link in the video description for you. Something unexpectedly wonderful has happened. <laughs> we were on our way to a coffee shop in Harajuku and we had been dying to go to Hedgehog Cafe but it was all sold out so we couldn't go. And then we walked past one and we've gotten in. It's like the hottest ticket in town and they are so cute. So to get in it was like roughly, I think we paid roughly 1500 yen each, worth every second. Yeah, I'm She's an active girl. <laughs> She's a wild old She's gal. Isn't she? She's just stop it. Get control, y'all. <laughs> So you selected our coffees, the guy gives you like a little bit of a chat and he asks you what you're- That's offensive! <laughs> so 
The guy comes out with this um, chart and he asks you some questions about your preferences and he helps you find your perfect match of coffee. Which smells amazing. Of course it does. So James likes something more acidic, which is a lighter roast. I don't like my coffee super acidic. I like a dark roast. So that's what I've selected. It's nice that we got two different um, varieties because you can see this is so much darker yeah. and this is a lot lighter. Yeah. And this smells so different. So you can... Really? Yeah, it smells, they smell very different. That's the stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's the stuff. I prefer the smell of yours actually because it's. Oh, mine smells way better than yours. <laughs> it is the moment of truth. Would you like to cheer? Kampai. <laughs> sweet, sweet nectar. What are we waiting for? <laughs> yep, that's the stuff. Coffee. Mum, mum. Coffee from the mayor. <laughs> I'm saying that wrong. That's really good. Absolutely worth the wait and a really cool experience. Delicious. <laughs>